Hey everybody, it's your friend Sermon here, back with another episode of Settlement Survival. This is our Trade Town playthrough. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. We are just about to get a batch of immigrants that have been long awaiting. We got 10 more. We're, we're at, look at this, 12 immigrants? 12, I mean, 12 citizens. 22 citizens for the first, I think this is an all-time high. 22 citizens. Well, 24 if you count the kids. 24 citizens, all-time high. I feel like anyways, so what I did here, I'm just gonna pause the quick and then just give you a quick rundown uh, Before we assign all these peeps we have, you know, our 200 huts. one is empty because they've died out on me And then we have two fishing huts one has uh, somebody in it and then this one's sitting here empty I did put in a little warehouse over here, which uh, I'll tell you why that's there. <laughs> I did have a gatherer's hut over here and I took it out and it looks like I'm either going to need to put it back or Leave this here, and it's a good spot for our hunters to drop stuff off. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take that out. Over here. Warehouse. Gatherer yeah, set. So, uh, one of our commenters and a couple thoughts that we've been pushing around thinking about um, is that the gatherer's huts could be a substantial source of food, and I've been kind of ignoring them. So, uh, in this episode, I'm gonna quit doing that. I'm gonna quit ignoring them. I'm gonna see how it works, and so far, you can see the numbers here. They look pretty good. So far, it seems to be working. I mean, like I said, we had 12 adults, which is great, crazy. Uh, we were usually about nine. It's right next to our forester's hut where we're going to plant trees eventually. And uh, this gatherer's hut is here so that it kind of shares the uh, planting radius with this forester's hut a little bit here. And then it kind of overlaps a little bit in this space here, but not too much. I'll probably do another forester's hut on this side eventually once we get the people to do that if these 22 citizens last for more than you know a couple of years then that'd be great and we could do that stuff but let's get these guys assigned to some food gathering stuff and things right away here i'm going to put two more people on the gatherer's hut and now we're down to four labors all of a sudden again so that's kind of how it goes around here we have nobody in the clinic or the church right now uh haven't uh, been using i just took the one out of the church because our happiness has been pretty good so that's kind of the situation with that uh, it looks like we do have some hurt people so i'm gonna put somebody in the clinic uh to, to try and resolve that quickly here before it gets too crazy i don't want to have a bunch of hurt people running around and if we can if we can deal with it and we can so let's do it hunter sets getting good over here so yeah uh builder we have one builder right now working on everything they're kind of going wild and yeah we're gonna cancel that warehouse so we'll get this stuff picked up eventually and then we'll get this warehouse built and then this gather hut built and i think that will be enough for uh some food action i i, I feel like like i said in the last episode we've just been sitting here just spinning our wheels but i i feel like we're, we're we we got enough of a, a kitty litter underneath our tires and we were able to get some grip going we could just get moving just a little bit here uh if you have no idea what i'm talking about with kitty litter and tires if you live in a state or an area like i do that is uh, full of ice and snow and nastiness in the winter time uh, it is common practice for people to have kitty litter in their cars. So if you get stuck, you can put some kitty litter by your tires and your tires grab the kitty litter instead of slipping on the ice. And uh, hopefully you're on your way. So that's that that was about in case you didn't know. Totally random. I, I know. <laughs> um, somebody was asking about the the uh, the difference between having this fishing hut here and this fishing dock here. I keep calling it huts. They're docks, fishing docks. Uh, and if this because this is in the range of this little fishy guy, if it makes a difference. Uh, it's been a really hard to tell. I haven't been able to keep my people alive long enough to really compare stuff. It's been bouncing back and forth as, you, as you've seen our population jump around, so... I don't know. I would, I'm would. i imagining so, because that's kind of the point of those things. And uh, so that's kind of the scoop with that. We do have one more technology, and I think I'm just going to kind of... I was really tempted to get clean water because it produces a lot of water. But uh, sand and clay are our issues with that, so we haven't done that yet. Uh, but we could see, let's see, logistics. Oh, we were talking about trade and getting down to well-known rep. Let's do it. Now, we don't have, we haven't had any caravans go out yet, as we know. Uh, but it is something that we could hopefully do if we can maintain these people we have. You can see that we have a bunch of uh, saws on our people. That means we have no tools. And so we're just kind of hanging out right now, trying to make sure that we have enough food to get by uh we're doing okay with everything else stone and iron is um it's pretty important because what we have on the map is what we get unless we're trading for it uh tools and clothing are also important like but 
not not the highest priority right now i'm trying to keep people warm with fuel the clothing would help with that true but i just can't quite i don't have enough people to get my fingers into everything enough to where it's going to make a difference and starvation has been one of our biggest problems so that's why i'm focusing so hard on food food and domestic fuels are the two things that i'm caring about the most water is important what i've been doing is using this big well to have a bunch of water coming in you can see we're at 799 water right now and then taking the people out of here and putting them in food once we have a good surplus of water stored up uh, so that i can utilize those people elsewhere and that's kind of what i've been doing with that stuff uh, it looks like this thing is nearly built which is really great it didn't take too long for only one builder it's going pretty well i'm really hoping that this merchant ship has something the last one that came by had like practically nothing that we could use i'm really hoping for a bunch of food to trade in our leather and lanterns for uh, well i'll trade everything for it but that's what i'm mainly hoping for is some food uh, we'll see what's on the ship we haven't been very lucky with the ship so far they've been kind of lackluster but yeah it's kind of how it is sometimes we have been lucky with a couple of events this one in particular i don't think is going to do much for us uh yeah we can't purchase anything so that's kind of uh that one's kind of null but <laughs> there's been a couple that gave us lobsters there was one that gave us silver coins a couple really really important uh events that have occurred in the town and it's been really really great so nice i I'm, I'm, would like to have another one but you know i can't i can't uh, control any of that there was one big tree that appeared too eventually at one point and uh I cut that down but i haven't seen one since then so yeah um i don't really think i showed you guys the whole map over here so you know we have our two hunter huts right now uh, and we realized that we had to have a bridge so you can see here we got a person way over here to access this landmass so we have this little river here so this whole landmass is it's one deal and they go all the way over here and it's all connected you can see we got our hunters running around here and then this one up here where we have the bridge to connect it goes all the way over here all the way down and all the way up and that's it so we don't have another one up north here. So we have this whole side that we're, we should have access to all the animals on the map, hopefully. So that's kind of the, the, the situation with that. Um, and you can see we are green on food too, which is interesting. If we, So if we can manage to keep up, keep this up, we should be finally looking pretty good. The light seems like it's at the end of the tunnel as long as we don't slip and fall back. So we'll just have to be diligent. And I think we're, we're really getting there with these gatherer sets. I'm liking these numbers. These are really, really good numbers like compared to. So, OK, so we got I don't know. How much is that? Like over 300, a good like well over 300 for uh, food. So I'm going to exclude agave and herbs, right? So if we look at this. Look at that 90. Well, it's only one person versus four, but still, if that was times four, that's still less than what we're getting out of this one gatherer set. So. That seems to kind of be the ticket. I wish I would have done that sooner. I kind of tend to neglect gather huts. And this one just got built up. We already have three peas that we gathered from Faye and Vernon. Excellent. So I'm just going to leave those two going just like that. And we'll get this warehouse built up. And we have one free labor. And once the warehouse gets built up, then my thought is we'll be able to be a little bit more efficient. Just bring stuff right in here. And then the stuff that's in here can be brought down into the town. That's kind of what my thought process is with that. It's a deal deal. So we've got our ship almost here. You can see the blue is almost gone in our timeline here. And we got another one on the timeline. Great. So we'll, I'm just going to watch here in just a second and we'll get that ship to the dock and we'll get some goods coming in here. We'll hopefully, hopefully get something good here. I could really use anything, any kind of foods except for sugar. I, I don't think that really counted. Oh, yeah, I did get that sugar, but I don't know if I checked to see if we used it or not. It was just a one sugar to try. I don't see it anywhere. It's not in the maybe they did eat the sugar so maybe i could have gotten away with buying a huge pile of sugar and just eating straight raw refined sugar not the greatest idea i don't think but it would work it looks like oh look at this okay look at this action mutton steak duck okay we got some really good foods and the eh, only well, only one okay so they're not super expensive like the steak 50. Oof. so let's just check a quick peek so we got our food that we wanted it doesn't really matter which one of these we get so I'm going to see how much we can get. I'm going to put all the stuff in here and I'll bring it back in just a moment. We'll see what we can get out of this. OK, we have a whole 555 coins and it sucks. <laughs> but uh, there we go. We got duck 555. We can do it one to one transaction. Let's do it. So, oh, OK, I'm excited about this. So this will be a nice boost of food for us. Obviously, Th that's like more than <laughs> like a whole year's worth of gatherer action. So I, I feel good. I feel good about this. I'm 
excited about it. We got our trade going, all right. Well, we don't have any trades going, but our techs are going great. Got all of these done. We got an overloader done. Travel light will be our next point we get into. And uh, we, get, we should really think about getting into some uh, some caravan action. Um, so one thing that we wanted to get is the, car the carving workshop to start getting uh, statues that we can export. So we have iron timber, gold, and jade statues for trading. So what we could do is trade for some raw iron and make those into uh, statues to trade back for monies. And that might be uh, something good, but look at this. Lamp oil and steel tools and planks. So that's a little bit far off for us right now. We could order that stuff, of course. Uh, but for now, it's kind of far off. And so can't quite do it. Super happy with this guy. I'm glad that that worked out. But oh, we need to get somebody in the dock to actually move the goods around, don't we? So I'm going to take one of our water persons for now and we'll put them in here. I do want to just keep the one laborer open. We are we are using them to build stuff. Oh, yes, good. Warehouse is completed. So now our builders should be good to go. Looks like we don't have we do have any we do have one homeless. Okay. So let's turn this back on and we'll get this one house built. We, we want we don't want to have any homeless people if we can handle it. Uh, because of the cold around here. Luckily, our winters are pretty short, pretty mild, but I still don't want people freezing to death, so I want to take steps to avoid that. And there goes the ship. Thanks for the food. Slash wave. All right, check it out. All right, we have another immigrant batch about here. And we have 15 people still alive. I'm pretty happy about it. And we have nine kids. That's really good. We haven't had any children. So, yeah, it's good. We seem to be starting to be a little bit more self-sufficient, and then we really needed to do that. And then up over here, I did put in another gatherer's hut. Because uh, why not? They've been so good that I, I just threw in another one. Uh, we also have another forester's hut here. And they're going to kind of do the same deal where it's kind of shared a little bit. And that's the plan for that. And then down over here, I have a forester hut, but no gatherer's hut. But I'm not going to build this one yet. Uh, I'm thinking about this is where we're going to get most of our... Ooh, lots of things together. Uh, most of our uh, timber. And so we're going to do like a timber area over in there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, and then with all these immigrants we just got, I'm going to do some gathering with them. Uh, we haven't really been doing a whole lot of that because we haven't really been able to. So I mean, that's what I'm going to do. So you can see we're already running out there and getting it done. I did put in three more houses because I saw that we had immigrants coming in and uh, we're going to need some more houses for them. So that's the deal deal there. And uh, it's doing all right. So for now, we got 11 laborers. I'm going to cut this stuff up, gather this stuff up, like I said. And then we're going to definitely put another person here. We're going to do four and then eight. We should have four left, and then I'm going to sprinkle a couple back in here where we, they died out. And I think I'm going to probably have to put another person back in water, and we'll probably do... Eh, I don't have to do the church just yet, but we'll keep an eye on it, make sure that we're still in the good there. So this is doing great. I'm super happy with this, and uh, we're just going to let these guys gather this up, and then uh, we'll see what we can do with them after that. We got the people sprinkled back into the hunter's hut here, and uh, we got another couple people into the fishing dock. And I put about three, well, three on two of these guys up here, and then one on this gatherer's hut. Uh, just because I can't really see a whole lot of these little uh, herby deals, I just, I wanted, that one just spawned in. Uh, so that's why I did two there. And then this one looks kind of bare as well, so I had four and I moved the one over here. You know, I'm not sure if, you know, the visuals that the game provides, like, you know, the little mushroom thingies here, if that is oh, like corresponding with what they gather. Well, this might answer my question right here. Okay, so it looks like it is. So that dude came up and gathered up the little veggie guy and now it's gone. So I think that's that's where what happens. So that's the deal with those guys, it looks like. Uh, I did put in a road here. I noticed that the people were going kind of like a wonky way this way. So I just put one in here to try and make the, the travel time a little bit better. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about not even putting those people that we gathered up uh, in uh, in our uh, town here, then just shipping them off somewhere with a caravan. But, you know, I was wondering, what, what do you guys think we should do for our first trade item? And we don't really have anything good we could process into some more money. We don't really have a whole lot we can trade out. We do have a couple whiskeys, which would be nice to trade out, but that's really helping our happiness right now. Um, it, it could, wouldn't, might not be the worst idea though. So what do you think? What do you think we should do? Should we do trade out whiskey and get, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even have any idea what we should get. Should we get food, trade out whiskey, get food with a trade caravan? I don't know. Let me know what you think and we can, we can uh, figure out what we can do next there. 
Uh, but for now, we do have another ship here. I don't have any money to do anything with the ship, though. And there isn't really anything here that I would get anyways if I did have some money. Uh, but we're doing great. We have 28 citizens, uh, 28 adults, and uh, 5 kids. So that, that's really nice. Uh, we don't have any immigrants on the timeline here for yet. But hopefully soon. But we do have another uh, merch ship coming, which is nice. It'd be good if we could get some kind of surplus of something going on. We only have a like medicine seems to be the most surplusy thing that we have, and you know that's not gonna bring us a whole lot of money. So, yeah, we gotta figure out what, what I want to do with trade now once we have this food thing figured out. And it looks pretty good. Water might be another issue, so I did put somebody into a, a regular old well that we had uh, because of we're at zero beverages, zero water right now. So. Just gotta watch that. We gotta kind of balance and go back and forth to make sure we got enough food, make sure we got enough water. And I did notice that our domestic fuels were at zero. We still are. So I put another person in the chopping house and I did gather up a whole bunch of trees over here, which then prompted me to be like, let's uh, build this forester's hut. So we got a forester hut on the way here. I'm going to do plant and gather on this and we're gonna have some kind of constant flow of timber coming in, hopefully if we manage to uh, have enough laborers to do so. And we, I see a handful of meat pops running around, just the one right here, two right here, three, four, <laughs> uh, but not a ton, which is great. It looks like there's five total over here. So yeah, it looks like our food situation is, is improving. And uh, that's, that's very nice. I was getting a little frustrated with this where we're at year 33 and you know, we were at nine citizens. It was just kind of annoying to have to just sit here and watch and wait and die and, you know, over and over again. Uh, but it does look like we lost somebody to starvation, so our one labor that we did have uh, is gone. And now a kid became a laborer, so that's great. Replaced and replaced. So that's that's very nice. Tools are something else that we could get into. So we could get some materials to start building some tools. I'm kind of thinking that we import timber with a, a trade thing that I was just asking about. Uh, but for now, I think we're just going to try and get as much as we can on our own. I mean, we've got trees coming up. We got uh, we got the Forester's Hut doing well. And we got, you know, we got plenty of greenery around we can gather up for trees. So we, we could do that as well and get some get some smithy action happening. Get some stone tools coming in. Uh, tools are going to be an issue with this, uh, this playthrough because we can't mine anything. Uh, so the iron ore, the stone, the obsidian... All this stuff is going to be really hard to come by, so we might have to import some iron eventually. Uh, but that's going to be when we, once we run out of the iron on the map. Like we're going to utilize that first, of course. Uh, but it's something to keep in mind that we won't have infinite sources of that like we normally would, uh, because we aren't going to be mining. Just a just another restriction on our playthrough, basically, just to explain it out. So it looks like our happiness is dipping again. So what I want to do to make up for that, I think we're going to take our builder out because we. I think we have all the building stuff that we wanted built up. We have the Forester's Hut there. Uh, I have the Forester's Hut here and here. Well, a person died that was in there, apparently. Uh, but I don't really... Not a huge priority yet. I would like to have them, but we don't... It's not a huge deal. We got immigrants on the timeline, which is super nice. We're going to need them. Keep this growing action happening. It's been, it's been nice. This episode's been really nice. But unfortunately, that's all that I have time for tonight. So I hope you enjoyed... And I uh, hope to see you on the next episode of Settlement Survival. Have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening, day, or night. And thank goodness for Gathering Hut.